What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We are back with another collection video. Today we're at the arcade, guys. That's right, it's been two weeks since we've collected. Now we've seen some live streams where we've seen some players putting money into these machines. So let's see how they did. But before we start collecting, we're gonna freshen things up a bit. We're gonna add some product and we're gonna do some changes um, since the last video. So in the, in, in the last video we had two plush cranes. We had the mini stacker, we had the jewelry crane. But since then, guys, we've added the treasure chest claw machine. And in a previous um, community tab poll, we took a vote and we said, should we sell the, the treasure chest machine and use the money to buy something better? Or should we put the treasure chest machine at the arcade with mystery cups and see how it does? Well, guys, you voted and we did what you voted for. You voted the majority vote was to take the treasure chest claw machine, put it at the arcade, put mystery cups in it, and let's see how it does. So that's what we're gonna do today. As you saw in the bonus video, we, we put together a bunch of mystery cups. We're gonna put them in the machine in this video, and we're gonna see how it goes. So um, definitely make sure you're a subscriber, guys, because we do live streams, usually, usually once a week or every other week or so from the arcade where you can see people play the machines, and we'll see if any players are going to play that, uh, that mystery cup machine. We'll see if it does any good. Um, you know, we've got different trading cards in it. We've got gift cards in it. We're going to add more and more stuff depending on how popular it is. So we'll see how it goes. So guys, if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when these videos and our live streams go live. All right. So we've got uh, just some freshening up, like I said, going on. We've got the, um, the two plush cranes freshened up. We're going to go ahead and put some mystery cups here in the treasure chest machine. So I've got just a big bag of mystery cups, like you saw in the bonus video, I was putting those together and you know, filling it full of trading cards, gift cards. We're just gonna kind of pour them in here. And I'm learning quickly that the, the pour out of a garbage bag method does not work very well. Um, some of the tops were popping off, so I have to fix those as I'm doing that. And you know, I, I thought about, should I do mystery cups or should I do those like little um, Chinese takeout boxes? I've seen people do those as well. Those are two ideas I had when it came to doing mystery items chinese takeout boxes or mystery cups um i found uh these cups on amazon and i just had them shipped so that way if you uh, are interested in doing mystery cups i can put the link to the amazon um, item down in the description so check them out guys if you want to try mystery cups in your machines here's the ones i went with but again you can also do the the mini um chinese takeout boxes which i can put links in the description for those as well if uh if this proves well i might try those in another machine or something like that who knows we'll see what happens anyway guys so anyway we, we're getting the mystery cups stocked up and uh, i'm having a hard time getting them all out of the bag it just wasn't going as easy as it could have been for me but we're going to get that all taken care of after we get the mystery cup stocked up we're going to start doing collections now in the previous video, we only collected from the claw machines and I think the Pokemon trading card machine. This one, we're going to do some of the bulk machines, but not all of them. Because again, bulk machines, especially the 25 cent only machines, I'm, all, I'm only going to collect from those on a, on a rare occasion when I've got a lot of extra time. And typically, when I'm collecting at this location or working servicing this location, I'm doing it before my, my regular job for the day. Um, so I have to kind of be quick. So this uh, this video is definitely being shot before I had to go to work in the morning. So luckily, uh, this place is open to vendors during the week for a couple hours in the mornings. So I'm able to come and service the machines, clean everything up, stock everything up and collect the money without having the customers there, which makes it pretty nice. All right, so they do have the power on for us today, as you can see. Sometimes they do not have the power on, but they do today. So we can make sure everything's, uh, everything's good. So let's start our collections. We're gonna kick it off with the Hot Stuff Claw Machine. This has mainly emoji plush in it, and it's also got some some uh, beady babies uh, and stuff left over from other other machines that I've purchased out out there in the uh, in the wild. So we're gonna open up the bottom door. We're gonna start with the quarters, and then we're gonna move on to the bills. And we're just gonna kind of go down the line. We're gonna go to the jewelry machine next, then the other plush claw machine. You know, um, we're gonna obviously skip over the treasure chest because it hasn't had any players yet. We'll move on to the mini stacker, which did have a winner. And we'll see how things are going there. We're just gonna move on down the line. Like I said, we're gonna do some of the bulk um, vending, but not all of it this time around. So let's see. So we got uh, the quarters stocked, or we got the quarters collected. Let's go do the bills. There we go. All right, not a huge stack, guys, but it's, uh, it's money for sure. And I will let you know that even though I'm not posting the actual totals um, yet for this location, I will tell you 
it's not losing money. So that's a good sign, guys. So as long as we're not losing money, we can continue to operate business here at this location. Um, so it is making a small profit. It's not a very large profit, but it is making a profit. So it is worth it. Plus, it gives us something to talk about and watch on the channel as well. So we're going to keep going with it. Um, but ultimately, this is really just a test location. I would love something bigger and better in a much better location. So depending on how things go, um, you never know. You might see a full-blown Galaxy Games arcade in the mall or something like that in, in future videos. So if you like that kind of content, guys, if you like seeing this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. We're working on the next milestone. We're currently trying to get to 2,100 subscribers. So if you haven't done so yet, guys, click that subscribe button. Click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, don't forget to give us a thumbs up to like this video. When you give us a thumbs up or like the video, it helps YouTube share our videos with other new viewers. So we would really appreciate you taking the time to like the video as well. All right, we got the jewelry machine all prettied up in there. Everything uh, making looking good and kind of able to be seen. Go ahead and take the quarters out of there. And not a whole lot of quarters. But this machine usually does better with dollar bills. And the reason why is because all the other machines are 50 cents. But this one is a $1 per play machine. Well, I think this is the... Yeah, this is the only machine we have set at $1 per play. So it usually does a little bit better with the bills compared to the quarters. So there we go. Uh, you know, just a few bills in there. Not too bad. We'll take it. All right. Let's get this machine locked up and we will move on to the next plush claw machine. And, you know, I don't really like having two plush claw machines, but what I try to do to differentiate the two is have one really just kind of designated to um, bigger, the, the bigger emoji plush. And this one has more of the licensed stuff. There's some Scooby-Doo stuff in there, some SpongeBob, Dippin' Dots, all kind of like more more desirable plush, I guess you could say, in this, uh, in this machine. So opening everything up again, we're gonna start with the quarters and see how it did. I think this one did pretty well with quarters. Remember, this one is a 50 cent per play machine, so it usually has more quarters. There we go. Looking pretty good for the quarters. We'll go ahead and pour those into the quarter cup. There we go. And we can move on to the bills after we get the bottom part locked back up. So guys, put it down in the comments what you would like to see here at the arcade. So as you know, we're gonna work on phasing out some of the bulk vending and move more game type machines in. Now in some of the live streams, people have said that I should go with a classic arcade machine like a Miss Pac-Man or something of that nature. So put it down in the comments what you'd like to see here at the arcade if you wanna see how things do. Personally, I don't think a, a classic arcade machine would do super well. Um, but we're definitely going to try it. Um, I've got some stuff in the works. You know, I, I've been picking up classic arcade machines um, in uh, in previous videos. We just picked up another one, and we're working on another deal for more. So we're definitely going to be introducing some classic arcade machines, probably a Miss Pac-Man, in the future at this location. So, but put it down in the comments, guys. Let me know what else you think would do good here in the arcade. What kind of machines? Obviously, we have plenty of claw machines, but you know, would something like that, you know, would another type of claw machine do well? You know, we've, we've got mystery cups now, we've got plush, we've got jewelry. What else could we possibly do? <laughs> uh, but if you have ideas, guys, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think would do well here at the arcade. And we can uh, maybe try some things out. We can buy some things at upcoming auctions and uh, try them out here at the arcade. Again, this is really our test space. If things go well here, we're going to expand in the future. So, I don't know, let us know in the comments. All right, the, the 50 cents uh, candy claw, which has different uh, eggs and... Um, Two inch capsules in there did pretty well lots of quarters in that machine this time around and now we're going to check the pokemon now you know pokemon is super hot right now and i think i'm going to do a pokemon prize in the mini stacker now that somebody won something from that mini stacker look at all those quarters guys lots of quarters in the pokemon pokemon is super hot right now if you can find it guys use it as prizes in your machines because people will play for it and you're going to see that when we go to the game store we're going to be going to the game store in, in, a, in an upcoming video pretty soon so that's going to be a huge one, guys. I just know the game store is going to be outstanding this time around. So make sure you subscribe because it's going to be a great time when we when we go to our game store location. We're going to open up the Barber Cut, which has those Pokemon prizes in. I know it's going to do super well this month. We're going to open up that bulk vending machine with all those Pokemon um, characters in it. So that's going to do super well this month. And we've got the trading card machine there with multiple um, Pokemon and Magic the Gathering cards in it, which I know is going to do super well. So that's going to be a record-breaking video, guys. So make sure you subscribe, have that bell clicked. That's probably going to be within the next week or so that we'll have a video from the game store location. So make sure you subscribe, guys. It's going to be super, super awesome. 
<laughs> All right, um, NFL whistles didn't do so hot as you can see. Again, this, this is why I don't really want to do bulk vending, guys. As you can see, the bulk vending machines, you know, they're, they're great to, if you're trying to fill space like I'm trying to do here, and that's why I'm leaving them here for now, but I want to start phasing them out and phasing in things that turn money over a little faster. Again, bulk vending is great if uh, if you've got, you know, a place where you, where you can just set a machine and kind of forget about it for a month, two months, three months, depending on how, how you know, much foot traffic the location is getting. But uh, this location, obviously, I'm, I'm coming here every week, so I don't need to collect my bulk vending every week or even really every month. That's why we're only going to do some of the bulk vending. So here's our tattoo machine. This has temporary tattoos. It's got classic style. It's got some skulls. I think it's got some for the ladies as well. So it does, it actually did pretty well. I'm surprised how, how well that did. All right, let's go ahead and get that locked back up. We're gonna move on to the Tommy Gotcha machine. And the, our Tommy Gotcha machine is one that it, um, I'm, I'm not expecting it to do super well. It's $1 per, per item. And the items we have in it aren't, uh, I, I don't know. I, it's like, it's got like, like many stuffed animals and some different uh, Disney stuff in the bottom. So I don't know, put down in the comments guys, if you think there's some good $1 items to vend out of that machine, put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Again, I'm all ears, guys. I'm all ears for trying things out. There was zero quarters in the bottom part, a few in the in the top. We're going to open up these top bulk machines, and I think that's going to wrap up the collection for the video. So let's see. These are mini balloon animals, and, you know, after a month, it did okay. There's, you know, a couple dollars worth of quarters in there. Um, let's see. Let's get that locked up. We're going to move on to the NFL, and then we're going to try out these. We're trying out these spinner balls. They're kind of like fidget spinners, but they're a ball. Um... And I, I did I did get all these from AA Global. So if you're wondering where we got these things from, AA Global. NFL helmets didn't do so hot, only about a dollar for the month. I was surprised at that. I thought they'd do better. Um, the spinner balls did okay, a couple dollars again. But again, guys, this is why I don't super love bulk vending. Unless you have like a, a killer product or a killer foot traffic. It's, you know, it's, it's just kind of taking up space. We're not going to do the bottom machines. We're going to save that for a future video. We're not going to do the necklaces and the machine next to that rack and we're not going to do the gumball machine uh for those of you that don't know my son actually runs the gumball machines he does he has a small gumball route all right so we got everything taken care of let's go ahead and open up the change machine now what we're going to do is we're going to weigh out our quarters and we're going to pour them back into the change machine we're not going to take any quarters back to the shop with us we just want to keep this uh change machine full and you know in a previous live stream somebody had said You've got other vendors coming and just using your change machine to, to get quarters. And I am totally cool with that, guys. Again, <laughs> I've taken hundreds and hundreds of dollars in quarters to the bank and it's such a pain in the back. Uh, if somebody wants to come give me um, bills for my quarters, I am all in for that, guys. All right, so you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. I'm actually pouring out some of the quarters. because I'm going to weigh them out. And again, once the channel grows a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and get me one of those quick play quarter scales you know you know the ones quick play uses in their videos right those are the ones that's the one i really want um this this way is kind of the the poor man's quarter scale um i actually learned this trick from integrity vending in some of their older videos and you just use a postal scale with a party cup and you weigh out your quarters and then you can uh, kind of mark down how much each weigh or each each weight um equals so after i do that i'm pouring it into the change machine i'm going to scoop the rest of the quarters back in and the reason why I don't do them all at once is because the scale can't handle that many quarters all at once, which, you know, that's a good problem to have in my opinion. All right, so we're scooping those quarters back in. Let's go ahead and weigh those out. We'll mark down the amount that that one weighs and how much that equals in quarter weight. And then we can go ahead and get the change machine um, locked up and wrap the video up. There we go. Pour those back in there. There we go. And we did collect the bills from the change machine as well. So we can now go ahead and get that locked up. Now that everything's locked up, guys, it's just a final check. We're going to make sure our locks are good. We're going to start cleaning up our work area because we got to get on. the. We got to get back to the shop. We got to get back to work. <laughs> All right. What else? Just a final, final straightening up. We're going to go ahead and, like I said, do some lock checks. We're going to make sure everything is good to go. Uh, we know we need to get a prize for that mini stacker since that bottom prize was one. I think I'm going to go with a Pokemon box of cards which i think will do well here at this uh, at this arcade location so we'll see what happens one thing we're going to do before we go though is we're going to move all the um capsules and eggs and stuff around in this machine here just so there's not like a divot there in the middle where everyone seems to play for they seem to play right in the middle and there's always creates like a big divot so i like to uh, kind of switch things up move things around and make it look uh, more even there we go all right get that locked up 
All right, let's go ahead and get the air work area cleaned up and then it's time to wrap the video up, guys. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the arcade this time. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there, guys. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. While you're down there, don't forget to give us a thumbs up to like the video and also share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and for making it all the way to the end. We really do appreciate your support, guys. All right, it is time to wrap this video up. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.